Well, today it's my review of the Spy Point Force Pro S. It's a new release from Spy Point and it's a solar integrated solar panel. Now I've been using this camera for almost two months now, so I have lots of sample photos and videos to show you. I'll also give you my thoughts on this integrated solar panel and some of the other features that this camera offers. I'll give you my final thoughts, the pros and cons as I see it after actually using this camera. Today it's the Spy Point Force Pro S. Now this new release from Spy Point is a non-cellular trail camera. Yes, Spy Point makes cameras that are not cellular, so there's no monthly plan, no fees associated with it. It's just a regular trail camera that offers 4K video. Now this camera's advertised as having 30 megapixel pictures, and I already mentioned the 4K video. It has a 90 foot IR illumination range and a 110 foot detection range. The camera's advertised as having a 0.2 second trigger speed, and of course it has that integrated solar panel. Now as I already mentioned, I've been using this camera for close to two months, and I have nearly 500 photos and videos from this camera, and I have not used any AA batteries. I simply fully charged the internal battery when I first received the camera, and then relied on that integrated solar panel. I could not be happier with the performance of this camera. As you'll see, I have a lot of videos, so videos at night can take the most battery consumption. Integrated solar panel and the internal battery that's inside of this camera has kept after eliminating me from having to use any AA batteries. Now, Spy Point does recommend using AA batteries as a backup for extended cloudy periods or if you have rainy days but I did not use any AA batteries because I wanted to fully test that internal battery and it has passed the test. Next, check out some of these samples from this camera from right here on my farm. I included some daytime and nighttime, so you should have a great variety and be able to judge the type of quality you can expect from this camera. Stick around then for my final thoughts. So I wanted to do an audio test. This is the Spy Point Force Solar, and this is the audio test. You can judge how well you can hear me. I'm approximately 15, maybe 20 feet away from the camera. This is the audio test. So you've been seeing some of the sample videos, daytime and nighttime from this camera. I'll continue to show you more, but now it's time for my final thoughts. I'm gonna start off with the pros, and the first pro is that integrated solar panel. I already touched on it, but it has passed the test. I love using solar with trail cameras. It can save considerable amount of money from buying batteries, and although they do recommend using batteries as a backup to the internal battery in the solar panel, I did not. I simply relied on that internal battery, and I operated the camera on video mode, and this camera did great. 
it never went dead. That internal battery always had at least three quarter power and it took videos both daytime and nighttime. And obviously it isn't always sunshine. So the integrated solar panel and the internal battery did a great job and that's a positive in my book. Another positive is the camera's design. Although it has that integrated solar panel, it's still a relatively compact camera and that solar panel is very robust. From what I can tell, no animal is gonna break that solar panel off. It's very sturdy on top of that camera. It also has one large latch on the side of it to open up the camera to access the settings. I love the one latch design. It's easy to open, yet creates a nice tight seal when you do close it. It also has a place for a padlock on that latch, so you can put a lock on there and help prevent SD card theft. The camera also has large holes to use a Python cable in the back of the camera. Some cameras have holes in the back for a cable, but they're so small that only certain cables will work. This is a large hole, so virtually any security cable is gonna work with this camera. Now another positive for this camera is its daytime quality of its photos and videos. I cannot stress how impressed I was. Just about as good as any camera out there. Now this camera's advertised as 30 megapixel and 4K video during the daytime. The daytime videos had exceptional color, crystal clear clarity. You just simply cannot ask for anything more. This camera also had good trigger speed and trigger distance. I had no issues with that. Animals could pass directly in front of this camera and it would be fast enough to trigger and capture that. I also noticed that the camera has some sort of image stabilization. I've never noticed this with any other camera. In one instance, I actually had an animal pulling on this camera during the daytime, and you could actually see the image stabilization while the video was playing. I've never seen this with any other camera. I'm not sure it has great advantages because typically your camera is mounted perfectly still, but for what it's worth, this camera seems to have some sort of image stabilization. So lots of positives with this camera, but with any camera, there's usually a con or two, and this camera's no exception. The nighttime photos and videos disappointed me. This camera's IR range, although it's advertised as 90 feet, it definitely has the spotlight effect. And what I mean by the spotlight effect, it's extremely bright in the very center and bottom of the photo and video, but as soon as you get out towards the edges, it gets pretty dark. In fact, if an animal's at the very edge of the field of view, it's very hard to tell what that animal is. It's simply so dark out at the edges of the field of view. When I first mounted this camera, I thought it might have been operator error and I had it pointed too far to the ground. So I moved the camera and pointed it up slightly higher to try and eliminate that bright spot in the lower center of the field of view. Uh, moving it up might have helped slightly, but there is no doubt it does not give even distribution of the IR at nighttime. Now this isn't the end of the world, and in fact, a lot of cameras can suffer from this, uh, but I still put that down as a con. Now is this a deal breaker? Well no, not in my opinion, but you do have to keep it in mind, especially when you're mounting the camera. You wanna try and optimize that nighttime IR, that's dead center and near the bottom of the field of view. So if you're placing this camera on a trail or some other location, keep that in mind that you definitely wanna try and get the animals into the center of the field of view to get the best look at them. So those were my final thoughts overall. A great camera, especially those daytime photos and videos. They are flat out impressive and I love that integrated solar panel. Uh, I can operate my camera on video mode without using any AA batteries. Well, I'll be placing a link down in the description if you want more information or maybe you'd like to purchase one of these cameras for yourself. It is an affiliate link, so I get a commission if you do choose to purchase the camera. I wanna thank you in advance and it helps me to continue to bring reviews just like this. I have lots more spy point cameras that I'm currently testing right now. So all the new release sighter cameras from spy point, those reviews will be coming up. So keep a lookout for that. Until then, I wanna thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.